What's up guys, welcome to today's vlog. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start off this vlog just telling you guys about a couple things. The first thing is I announced a contest on the last vlog that I was gonna give away the Paul Mitchell Neuro Angle Iron. Now that giveaway is gonna happen this week so if you'd like to join in on that contest, all you have to do is post in the comments below right in this video and say that you would like to get the iron, tell me why you want the iron, and so on and so forth. So what we're gonna be going over today in the video is I'm gonna do a block coloring technique for you guys and then also finish it with a really unique haircutting technique that's gonna create a lot of texture. We're also gonna cut a straight bang and it's gonna be on longer hair. So I think the combination of all of those things you guys will be able to use in the salon. The block coloring technique that we did, I took a mannequin that had really yellow blonde hair. So basically the scenario that I'm looking at in this video is when you have that guest that's been kind of over-processed, is super blonde, you wanna take them down, add a little bit of dimension to their color, this is a great technique for that. So we did a block color technique, which is basically adding different shapes to create movement and depth within the hair color. So this is the mannequin that we used. You can see underneath here, you can see some of these deeper tones that we created. I wanted this to have a more earthy feel to it. I used Paul Mitchell Demi hair color. Now the reason I chose Demi hair color uh, is because it's got a nice opaque feel, but it's also not permanent. And anytime I'm putting color on blonde hair, I never wanna use permanent hair color because I don't wanna have to color over that to try to lighten it later on. So the colors that I chose for this technique are all about creating depth and more earthy tones. I think you guys are gonna like the color technique and then also remember, I got a bonus haircutting technique coming up at the end of the video as well. So I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right away so you never miss the new videos that I'm coming out with all the time. Let's get started with this step-by-step -step video. Here we go. All right, guys, so we're gonna start off by mixing uh, Paul Mitchell the Demi 7PA with Paul Mitchell's processing liquid. Uh, so the, the reason I wanted to do the 7PA, it's an ashier tone, so it's going to have a little bit more depth to it. You can actually see on this chart how deep it is. Um, so it's a great color to overlay on blonde hair to add that depth. Uh, so I did that, mixed it two ounces to two ounces, equal parts. Um, Paul Mitchell sent me this 20th anniversary uh, sparkly bowl, so I figured I'd show you guys that. Um, so I put that in and I mix it up with my brush. And then my second formula is going to be the 9MT, which is their matte series. It's got a little bit of a green undertone. And then this 7N, which is a natural uh, tone, natural brown. So I put that in as well. So I do equal parts of the 7N and the 9MT. I'm looking for a level eight. That's about where the mannequin is anyways. So really what I was trying to do is just take that kind of yellowy tone of the blonde and give it a little more of an earthy feel to it. So I mix that up and then I start my sectioning. My sectioning is pretty simple. Um, it's just using a lot of different triangles and circles. So I take a circle right out of the crown area and just follow that completely around. This is gonna be based on the density. So if you think about how a circle is gonna fall over the head, it's gonna fall kind of overlaying everything. So that's gonna be my lightest tone, that level nine, level seven uh, in there. Then I go through, I, I draw a diagonal back line to the ear, and then I draw a diagonal forward line from the back of the circle and just meet it about an inch above the ear. Then I draw another diagonal back line and then another diagonal forward line. So I'm creating different triangles that intersect with each other. And the reason I like doing that with this block color technique is it kind of, it mixes every tone together without creating a stripey effect. So as opposed to doing something more vertical straps or something like that, you'd get really stripey color. This overlays uh, using more diagonal patterns or diagonal partings, and that's gonna give you a more diffused look. So right around the circle is where I start. I paint the first triangle with my 7PA. You can see that purple kind of deep base to it. It's gonna be really ashy toned. I love this uh, formula also for um, anyone that you're trying to kill that uh, real warm brassy tone in hair color, you just put this on there, work it through. I use the permanent color back at the sink for maybe even like five to 10 minutes on wet hair and it takes that warmth out as well. Uh, but it is pretty deep, so just be aware of that. Now I go in with my level eight, which is the mixture of the nine and the seven, and I put that right along the face. So I wanted to keep it nice and brighter on the face. I don't want the, the deep, darker tone coming through. The other thing about block coloring that I think um, 
a lot of people should understand is that it can look a little stripy if you don't pick tones that complement each other and are also really far in level difference. So right now I'm working with a level seven and a level eight. Um, so there's not going to be a big difference in the hair color. Um, so that's just going to give me movement, but it's not going to really show up like, wow, look at all those different um, triangle shapes that he put in the head. So I like this for keeping it nice and subtle. You could also do it levels four and five if you wanted to create some dimension. I think that block coloring is really cool because it's a technique that you can use on any guest that comes in the salon to create uh, more movement and more natural look to their hair um, as opposed to just painting their hair all one color. So definitely try this technique. Try it with all different levels, um, not just with blonde. So you can see I definitely wanted that deeper color at the, the very bottom. And again, it's not like I'm putting a level three at the bottom and then painting the top a 10. So it's not going to make it a dated look. It's just giving it that depth. It's, it's like if the sun came down and naturally lightened her hair, it would lighten the top the most. And then by the time it got to the underneath, it would be a much deeper tone because the sun doesn't get to it. So it's, this is why it's a natural look to it. So finishing up, that's, that's the 7PA as well. I put the level 8 in between there um, to kind of break it up. And then around the face and the bangs, I do the level 8 as well. So again, this doesn't take much longer, but I would charge about $20, $30 more um, because I'm going in and artistically putting in the different placement. It does take me maybe 10 more minutes to do this type of application. So it makes it worth it to just charge a little bit extra money and your guest is getting the full benefit of a more natural look on her hair. So just finishing up on the top, I'm going to paint that also the level eight. So we'll just work my way through there. I paint all the way around the circle first and then I just take vertical straps across and work small sections because obviously this is also the most important part. It's the thing that's going to veil over the whole look. So you want to make sure you get everything fully saturated with the color. The thing I like about the Demi, uh, it does seem to, I haven't used it a lot because I use PM Shines for, for a very long time. Um, this is a newer product with Paul Mitchell, maybe a year or two. Um, but I really love the opaqueness, if that's a word, of this color. Um, I love the coverage that I get, but also um, the wet feel of it. It saturates the hair really, really well. Um, so I never really have a, a problem getting it saturated and having any spots on the hair. So that is the technique. So I'll spin it around. You can see all those different sections create that dimension. Now we're gonna pop right into the haircut. So we've already smoothed it. I've already done all of that work. Um, if you guys wanna see any smoothing videos, check out the other ones that we've done. So I go through, this girl had a bang already, but I wanted to bring it up, give it a little bit more of a hard line to it, and also get it out of her eyes. So what I do for that technique, and you can also see the color popping through there, um, is I lift the hair up with my scissor, the tip of my scissor. I'm using the Mizutani Puffin dry cutting scissor. Um, I really like this one for obviously dry cutting, but having a different scissor for dry cutting is so important because it keeps your scissor from getting dull. And also, if you look at the Puffin, it has super thick blades, which makes it really strong uh, for dry cutting as well. So I lift the hair up with the tip of the scissor, I place it in the comb, and then I go through and I cut my blunt line. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through and do a technique called stroking, and what I do is I start the mid shaft and I slide my hand out and I create all of these different layers and texture within the cut. What that's gonna do is open up the top part of the haircut and expose that underneath uh, depth that we created with the 7PA. So that's really my goal is just to go through this and uh, use the stroking technique to create kind of not uniform layers, more textured layers, and uh, expose that depth and show off the pieciness of the cut. Now what I'm doing for this cut, I'm gonna show you guys the breakdown of the stroking technique in a second, but my over direction is coming right in front of the face. So you'll see how those layers kind of start to work their way a little bit longer towards the back. So I go straight out from the head and bring everything to a stationary guide at that point. Now here's the stroking technique a little bit slower. You can see I come down, I close on the hair and I release it up and kind of throw that hair off of it. That's basically the easiest way to do it. I have my thumb halfway in the scissor so I'm not 
trying to hike my elbow up too high. And I just let the scissor kind of bounce down onto the hair and close as I hit down and release up. You could also elevate this way up and do a really deep uh, point cutting technique, but I just like the stroking technique. I think it looks cool. And it's also, it gives me that kind of more lived in result than point cutting does. So same thing, vertical parting, and then I overdirect everything right to uh, the side of the head to the eye um, in the front. And that's going to give me that push of weight towards the back. This is the Paul Mitchell Neon uh, Sugar Dry Cleanse and Sugar Dry Conditioner. These are two new products from Paul Mitchell. I'm not going to use them on this mannequin, but I do think for this kind of look or something that's looking for texture, this line of products is really great. And also the Sugar Teas, it's a texture and hold uh, spray. So it does have a little bit of a wet delivery and a pretty firm hold, uh, what I realized when I was spraying it in there. So what I did, I really love the texture it gives the hair. So I spray it in and then what I do is I brush the product through and that kind of broke it up. And then when I put my hands into it, the texture really comes to life. So I liked that. You could, if you like a firmer spray, you could just leave it the way it was as well. Um, but also check out that depth and the different movement that you get from the hair color. Uh, hope you guys like that look. I hope you guys can use this in the salon. Let me know if you have questions in the comments below. Here is our finished result. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. always if you like the video and you liked this color technique and cut then make sure you hit that like button also subscribe to this channel if you have not done that already i would really love to have you part of this community i'd love to hear your comments below as well uh, so we can start up that conversation and one other thing i wanted to mention to you guys before i go is that paul mitchell is having a hair coloring contest on the internet go to color outside the lines paul mitchell Dot com and you can get all of the details on there, but they're doing a natural makeover contest and also a creative makeover contest. The thing that's awesome about this contest is that you get to win tickets to their big hair show in Las Vegas called The Gathering. It's something I love going to. I will be there this year, so hopefully we can meet each other. But all you have to do to enter the contest is go to coloroutsidethelines.paulmitchell.com. You'll get all the information uh, and you can submit all of your work and everything to it. So go check it out. I'll link in the description below. Also, don't forget to go to freesaloneducation.com to get any of these tools, combs, clips, scissors, all that stuff you want to purchase. And we have tons and tons of more free salon education videos on there that you can watch for free. So go check out freesaloneducation.com. Thank you guys so much for the support. I appreciate all of you and I will see you guys on the next video. Thanks.